Okay guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial video on making your own original characters. I'm gonna be using my computer to do it digitally because it's a lot easier to kind of push things around and uh, sketch and stuff. But uh, I might do a future one on uh, pencil and paper if y'all wanna see that. It's kind of the same thing really. This could translate if you draw traditionally on paper. So basically it's just showing proportions and stuff like that. So um, I'm not anywhere near perfect with my anatomy or proportions. I kind of learned in uh, art class in high school uh, certain ways to do things and it kind of stuck with me. So I'll show that in this video. Hopefully this helps y'all. Please uh, subscribe, like, and comment on this video if it helped you. That'd be awesome. And let's get right into it. Okay, so what we're going to start with is two lines at the top and the bottom. That's to show how tall the character is. We're going to sketch in real quick the head, shoulders, knees and toes, <laughs> basically. So just circle all that in as I'm showing. Uh, we're doing this block technique, so I can show y'all how I kind of do it in my head to begin with. I don't really need to do this, but one block is one head. Three blocks would be the arms. That's how long. Four blocks would be for the legs to the feet. And in between those four blocks, so two blocks down, would be the knees. So if you use that, that's a good way to kind of separate it and try to do proportions. I know the proportions aren't perfect in this. Um, I tried my best, but I'm still also learning. So these are just techniques that have helped me, especially when I was in art class and everything. And yeah, so now I'm just going over another layer in a different color. I like doing that to show better portions of the body. So with this, you can kind of stretch out and everything. And uh, yeah, so we're going straight into the clothes after that. And I'm drawing this cool like jacket. You can really just draw whatever you want for this. I'm just kind of showing how it should work. Uh, add a lot of like folds around the arms. Basically just think about how a jacket or a shirt actually works on a person and kind of just go from there. So uh, yeah, I'm adding these little brighter colors to show the design on that jacket. You're gonna sketch straight into the pants and uh, add the folds, like I said, and you just kind of just picture it out how pants would look, honestly. I mean, I know that's not very helpful. I hope it is. I mean, you can watch this and slow it down if that helps, but yeah. So now I'm drawing some little gloves to put on his hands. Hands are like really hard to draw, so you kind of just gotta feel for it. Drawing the shoes now. Shoes, uh, I've always had a problem with shoes. I'll probably make separate tutorials for individual things like that. If you want to see that, like I said, comment down below, leave a like on this video. And yeah, so I've gotten a little bit better with shoes. So that's pretty cool. I like these a lot. And the hair right there. And now I'm just uh, taking that opacity down a lot on that final sketch layer. And I'm inking in like a finer black uh, pen to make all the final details on it. And um, basically just go over everything you did. And this is the final sketch layer that, or the final pen layer that I use. So I'd say like, if you find any mistakes, just kind of correct them in this layer. It'd be best to correct them in the last layer, but you know, you find the stuff here and there. So yeah, um, basically now I'm just coloring in uh, all the details. Uh, he's wearing like a jacket with like a a little polo shirt like underneath a long sleeve. So I thought that was kind of cool, kind of short jacket, cool style. I'm picking colors and I'm like just guessing like what would look good with what. And it, to keep your colors minimal is usually pretty good depending on what style you're going for. I like to keep at least like three colors and just kind of color drop them onto each thing. Like the shoes are like a dark purple, jacket's a dark purple, it all matches. Now I'm adding in all the shadows. I just kind of highlight all of that. And then um, I just like, I use the lasso tool. I select around the things that you wanna give the little shadow to, and you pick a side that the shadow should be on, like in real life, unless you're doing like a back shadow. But if I, I'm doing it from the side, so I just kind of selected areas that I would think would be, the shadow would go in. You just gotta contour it to the, the folds in the clothes and to the face structure, if that makes sense. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I know this is kind of a fast tutorial, but uh, I will do individual things like I said, like how to draw shoes from different angles, how to draw faces from different angles, stuff like that if y'all like this video. And um, definitely love doing the traditional style, 
but digital is a lot easier to showcase. So I might do a little bit of both here and there. And yeah, I hope y'all liked this video and I hope it helped you um, go through it and just kind of pause at parts if you want. Uh, draw along, you can draw this character, whatever you want. So again, please subscribe and show love, support, and thank y'all so much for all the love and support lately. And I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.